There are three main types of programming construct which you'll come across in just about every high-level programming language. Namely, sequence, selection and iteration. We've already seen two of these. Sequence is when a block of code is executed one line after another in sequence. Selection is when a block of code is executed or not depending on a condition. And we've seen this with the if statement and with the select case construct, sometimes called branching. The third main construct you'll come across is called iteration. And this is when a block of code is executed over and over again until a condition is met. One type of iteration construct is the for next loop. And we can see one here. Notice first I've declared a variable of type integer. And here's my for next block. I start with the for statement and it finishes with the next statement. And within the for and the next I can have a block of code. In this case I've only got one line of code. Let's see what happens when we run this program. Hello once, twice, three times, four, five times. This for next block has caused hello to be displayed five times. We can see what's going on if we step through the code. F8 to step through. First of all, x has a value of zero. It's only just been declared. When this line of code executes, x is given a value of one. And then the message box statement executes. When the next statement is executed, the value of x is incremented. In other words, it now has a value of 2. And the message box statement executes again. When next executes, now x is incremented again. It's given a value of 3. And the message box is executed again. And so on. x is now 4. The message box statement executes again, and then finally, x is given a value of 5, and for the final time, the message box statement is executed. Here's another example which also shows us what's going on. The only difference this time is I'm actually outputting the value of x. So if I run this program at full speed with f5, hello 1, hello 2, hello 3, I can see the value of x changing and once x hits 5 we drop out of the loop. It's fairly intuitive for x equals 1 to 5. In other words keep doing this until x is equal to 5. As I said earlier, iteration is when a block of code, or in this case a single line of code, is executed repeatedly until a condition is met. In this case the exit condition is when x becomes 5. You may have realized that I could just as easily say for x equals 1 to 500, in which case this code will execute 500 times. Or I could say for x equals 1 to 5000, or indeed any big number. With the for next construct, I'm getting an awful lot of processing for a very small amount of code. I won't run this program because we'll be here all day. A slightly more practical, if unrealistic, example is shown here. This time, within my for next loop, I've got several lines of code. What I'm doing is prompting the user to enter the unit cost of an item with an input box function. Then I'm asking the user to enter the quantity of that item. I calculate the total cost by multiplying the unit cost by the quantity, and then finally I output the value of the total cost. So let's run this program and see what happens. Enter the unit cost of product 1, enter the quantity of product 1, and the result is displayed. And I'm going to be asked to do this five times. There are a few variations of the for next statement which can come in useful. 
It won't be immediately obvious why these can be useful, but we'll see examples later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say for x equals 2 to 10. And I'm going to step 2 at a time. In other words, I want to add 2 to the value of x each time we pass through this loop. So let's see what happens when I run it. Hello 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Still doing it five times, but x is changing by 2 each time. And this is going to seem a little bit odd as well, but I can actually count down. I'm going to say for x equals 10 to 2, step minus 2. So x is going to start off with a value of 10, and then the next statement will decrement it by 2. So let's see what happens this time. Hello 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. That's the for next construct. We'll see some more practical examples of this in action later.